What's up, guys? This is Justin. I'm here with Miranda. Hello. And we are playing Stardew Valley. I'm so excited. It's so pretty. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so obsessed with it right now. Uh, first thing, I don't want to spend a lot of time in the character creator. Do you want to make a boy or a girl? Let's make a girl first. I think we should make a girl, too. Yeah. What should her name be? Uh, I don't know. Oh, no. Amelia. Amelia's a good name. Farm name. Ooh, what should our farm be? Uh, Pokemon farm. No. <laughs> no. Pokemon farm. No. What about, uh, uh, oh, God. What about happiness? Cla ha happiness, that's good. Is happiness like a good farm? farm? Look at some clouds. What's our favorite thing? Clouds. Clouds. <laughs> Done. Pretty clouds. Okay, pretty clouds. Sure, 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 sure. There you go. Pretty clouds. Um, and we said earlier we wanted to get a cat. Yeah. You get a cat. I should clarify. I've played this a little bit. I've played maybe five or six hours um, at my house. So I know, I, I'm not like an expert, but I know enough that I'll be able to guide us through like a little bit. Good I think thing. that hair looks good. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. This is not normally the woman I would make, but I feel like it's sure. good enough and to just wanna, get into the game. We don't want to go too in-depth, or else we'll be here forever. Yeah, I know, because I'm all about that character creator. And then we'll see... Oh. So the intro, if you've played any Harvest Moon game, um, is, of course, you're gifted this farm from your, uh, your... It's always like a great uncle or a grandfather or some relative you didn't know you had. Yeah. It's just, it's just a special... Yeah. A special thing. And so, but this this game does an interesting thing. I mean, we're gonna see here in a sec. Because um, I thought like, oh, it's the a normal like opening of a game like this, but then it goes in, like a little bit different direction than I expected, hmm. which you'll see here momentarily. I will see. So this is actually me watching this part fresh because I haven't started yeah. the game yet. So sorry, it's a little bit of a spoiler no, for it's you. It's good. No, it's good. I'm, um, I'm seeing it right now. Your grandpa at home is like Santa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. He's like, wow. And he has a sword. <laughs> yeah, I guess I didn't notice that the first time I played. Oh, yeah, that bug thing's a little bit of foreshadowing, too. I didn't pick up on this when I watched the intro. Aww. Your bright spirit will fade. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Aww. I know. Sad. It is, but that's why this game has... Um, it's very, very fun, and obviously we're going to show that off in its Let's Play, but it actually has a lot of heart, which I didn't necessarily expect. Hmm. So... This is kind of the twist that I was talking about, is you have, like, a soul-crushing office job. And, like, the game's set in, like, modern times. Like, usually, like, a Harvest Moon game is sort of, like, non-specific. Yeah, yeah. In terms of, like, what time it exists. And so there's definitely, like, a little bit of social commentary here about living in a small town and getting back to nature and, like, rediscovering your soul in that way. Right. Yeah, like, look at look at poor Amelia. Sad, She's so sad. So, such a sad place. There's some a skeleton. Yeah. It's a good prank. Yeah. Or maybe it's real. <laughs> It's a good joke. It's I supposed to show. To pretend that it's real. Look at how like everybody's being uh, monitored. Yeah. And so then she's just like, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> she's like, nah, I'm out of this place. I got a fancy letter. Ooh, but then you gotta click on it. Nice. If you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. Um, I lost sight of what happened to me and what was important to me, so I dropped everything and moved moved to the place I truly belong. The deed to that place, my pride and joy. Happiness farm. Yeah, Aww. in Stardew Valley. This is my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. Oh, thanks, Grandpa. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? That's pretty bleak. <laughs> but we gotta find him. Lewis is alive. He's the mayor. Oh. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> I was like, aw, I hope he's alive. Yeah. So I'm skipping some of the slightly less important cutscenes, but we'll obviously go through some of the story stuff here. Yeah. We made it. Oh, hi, Robin. Yeah. Hello, you must be Amelia. I'm a carpenter. He's tidying things up on the farm. The farm's right over here. So I really, really love this game's art. Mm -hmm. It's very peaceful, and um, you know, you're know you not defending your farm against any invaders. It's just like a nice, peaceful, fun town, and it's got all these townspeople and villagers that you can get to get, get to know. They're all like named and have different personalities. Aww. And um, you can become friends with all of them. I want to be their friends. I heard you can even date some of them. You can date, you can get married, <laughs> and have babies. That's important. Uh -huh. Oh, it's super you important. You the right one. It's a little dedication. You'll have it cleaned up in no time. Yeah, so that's this, uh, a mess. <laughs> yeah, you saw your character had a cute little animation. Oh, mm -hmm. I didn't realize how like purple her skin was. I thought it was more like pinkish. Our well, characters. It's kind of pinky. Yeah. It's pretty pink. There's it's the mayor. Fun. There's Lewis. The there new farmer. My grandfather says hello. Yeah. That's right. You never tell him. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. That's uh, so well, your, your character's kind of mute. I don't think they speak. We'll pretend to be told them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we fulfilled the deed. So I like, the farm is actually really big. I mean, we'll see all this in a sec, I guess, and so maybe I won't even get into it. But uh, as someone that's played quite a bit of Harvest Moon games and games mm -hmm. other like this, like, that are like this, um, you have like a lot more space to build, I feel like, mm -hmm. than you do in some of those other games. Oh, shut up, Robin. <laughs> wow. 
Rude. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. Yeah. I like all their portraits too. It just feels a little bit mm -hmm. nice and more personal. Oh, yeah. ah, whoa. I know, for sure. I like the little, I don't know what you would call them, like the little JRPG like animations that you get. They're emotes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. The townspeople would appreciate that. And so th this game, like a lot of these games, is really more about like time management and like energy management. Like you have a stamina bar, and like everything you do costs stamina. And uh, it's really about like, do you want to spend it fishing or mining, or like there's like a cave that you can go down in and fight. It's nice because you can just kind of like hone your passions. Like, what do you want to do in this place? Like, what's important to you? And how do you want to make it your own farm? Yeah, for sure. Well, little house. Oh, so you can you can get a bigger house later, right? Yeah. Well, you add on to this house, like you oh, add okay. on a kitchen and stuff. I want to go to the settings and turn on auto run. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, I just turned it nope. off. Oops. <laughs> whoops. Oops. Oops. It was already on. Yeah, I didn't have this on for the first several days I played the game, and I was like, oh my god. Yeah, I've, I've played a few games like that where I just uh, didn't run at all and didn't know. Oof. Parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Thanks, Mayor. So, like, now we have this quest to introduce ourselves to the 28 townspeople, um, and we have another little quest to, uh, you know, just harvest the parsnip. And so you can see in the menu here that there's all these townspeople, and you until you've met them, you don't know, like, what their name is or where they are. And you can see the map of, like, who lives where. And the map's actually really extensive. I know before you walk around, like, you don't have a sense of scale, but, like, right. I've played the game, like, four or six hours, and I've never been over here. Huh. And I've actually never been over here either. So there's, like, areas... Well, so, we'll see. We'll give it a Like, looking at this, I'm just like, man, Grandpa had a lot of land. <laughs> no, yeah, for sure. Well, that's not all his land. That's the farm. That's the town, too. Okay. Like, well, just... Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, I mean, uh... Oh, just this just area. Just that part. Oh, yeah, yeah for a sure. Huge, huge farm. And so you have these tools down at the bottom that you can see here. Um, I'm using the scythe to cut down some grass and clear a little space. That's pretty fast, too, so it's not, like, everything takes forever. Well, not for the scythe, but, like, if you want to... Like, you have to mine these out individually. And in the bottom right, you have that energy bar, which I think they're cheating a little bit and giving you maybe like extra energy for the first day. Mm, so um, it's like get all your stuff done the first day. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe they're not. I'm actually not positive. Um, and then the wood to chop down trees. And so we'll clear out. We don't need very much space right now. We'll just clear out a little bit of space. Oh, why tree? Why are you killing it? Well, because there's so many. I mean, we need to make farming space. Look at how overgrown this farm is. That's true. And so this game is... Uh, I would probably say it's maybe about 75% like Harvest Moon and maybe like 25% Terraria or Minecraft. Like it's sort of key differentiator is that it has like a more elaborate crafting system than those right. games and like decoration system. Like that's important. You gotta have a nice home. Yeah, you have a lot of flexibility over like how to decorate your home and like how to decorate your farm uh, more so than some of those other games. So that's that's sort of the mix, and that's what I like about it actually. Yeah, I also like that we have uh, time passing. That's really cool. It's just that you have a clock. You can oh. Really see what time it is. Yeah, I'll definitely before this let's play ends uh, want to spend at least a second showing off the. Uh, um, how many of these do I have? Fifteen. Um, okay, so I'll do rows of five. Four. Five. Uh, I definitely want to show off the fishing because a it's a pretty fun mini game and b um, it's like so elaborate and like if you fish in different areas in different times of day and with different bait like you'll catch different stuff. And so like you, there's some things that you can only catch if you fish at night. So I just use the hoe to like dig out some plots, and then like planting things is just as easy as like just clicking them down onto the ground. Nice. And I think I read in a guide somewhere. Um, I hope it's true that like there's no penalty for like walking over your crops. Oh yeah, because this would be pretty problematic right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think there's anything like that. I think it's fine. And eventually you get like you know you can put fertilizer in and like do all kinds of different stuff to like grow different like qualities of crops. Right. So, um, I don't even know. It might be too overgrown to walk all the way from one end to the other, but maybe, like, yeah, I'm not even going to be able to do it right now. <laughs> Man. I mean, maybe I can slice my way over there, but you have a lot, a lot, a lot of space to grow on. And, like, a rundown, like, this is eventually going to get rebuilt. See, it's still going, still going. Like, you have so much building space. And there's the edge right there. Okay, yeah, there's, it's huge. Yep. And it actually extends down south a ways, too. You have a little pond. Um, yeah, and you eventually get farm buildings, like, uh, you can get cows and chickens. I want goats. I just want a ton of goats. Ooh, I don't know if you can get goats. I think I saw a goat maybe in an image somewhere, yeah, but you if you can't get the goats, that's fine, too. Yeah, you could be a right. A little bit. So I it's think... Only fine. A little bit. Let's go into town. Yeah. So see these townspeople. What do yeah. you think of our farm? I hope they like our farm. I know. 
Yeah, it's really actually hard. You have, I, I showed you before, you have these relationship levels with everybody, and they all, you can give each town person one gift a day, and it's actually kind of hard to know, like, what they want. They never like uh... any of the stuff I give them. I'm like, do you want this piece of coral? And they're like, oh, what am I supposed to do with this? And <laughs> I'm mean, like, that's, that's, that's true, though. Like, what are you really supposed to do? Is but I don't know. Paperweight? I don't know. It's a small town. With, like... <laughs> There's a saloon that's fun, so it's like everyone has a daily routine and like a weekly routine, and like there's this one person that's like, oh, I nanny the kids every Tuesday and Thursday, and mm -hmm. so then you have to, you can kind of like learn where people are gonna go do what. Oh, well, that's really intricate. Yeah, cool. and you can see the calendar, like the egg festival is the 13th, oh. and then the flower dance is the 24th, and it's different people's birthdays on different days. That's cool, and you get their photos too, just in case you don't remember. Yeah. So this, this is the girl that I was trying to date in my main game. I think Abigail's pretty cool. Yeah, she's got cool purple hair. Yeah. You can always take that. It's kind of a shame, really. I enjoyed exploring those overgrown... Oh, you explored my farm? Oh, she you... uh, messed... Probably messed with it. Yeah. Let's see. What should we buy? A cool hangout. Um... Parsnips are like the starter plant. We can buy right. some of those. Ten days to mature, but they keep producing after that. Beans so, are good. It's, this is very similar to uh, uh, Harvest Moon in that crops wither after the season ends. Right. So, like, you kind of need to be smart. Don't plant something too late. Right in the season. Um, kale makes you a lot of money. Jazz seeds. Yeah, those are flowers, I think. Let's yeah, look like it. Let's buy... Well, I don't know. What do you want to buy? I'll buy tulips. You want to buy tulips? Yeah. Let's buy a few tulips. I actually don't know if you can sell flowers, so this will be a good test. Let's not buy too many in case you can't sell them. Yeah, let's that's buy... a lot. Oh, man. The... Our... Our inventory is full because we cut down that stuff. Oh no! Can we sell it? <sighs> yes, we can. We can't sell it, but what we can do? You just drop it on the ground. Just yeah. It. yeah. Well, <laughs> let me take the let me take the long way. So to give a little bit more of a tour of town, we'll go the long way back. Ooh. Hey, I'm Sam. Sam. Good to meet you. Ooh, he seems cool. Spiky hair. He yeah. does not seem like he belongs here. No, that's the thing. Like, there's like it's funny. Like the people's routine, the townspeople is funny. There's like an emo kid that like never <laughs> leaves his parents' basement. I like Leo a lot too. Nice. Yeah. And oh, she seems sad. Oh, she's a little girl. Oh, uh, maybe that's not the little girl. That might yeah, be the. Yeah, she doesn't look like a child. No, I think you're right. I thought that was the little girl. I mean, she's hanging out by the cemetery, so. Yeah. You can maybe, rifle uh, through people's trash. Dark. Like there's a there's a snack in the trash, <laughs> but uh, again, our inventory is full, so I can't take you it. You can right just now. put in put in some trash in there. Yeah, we'll throw away the McSeeds and we'll take this. Yeah. That's weird. Just first thing you do, you get in town. Yep. Rummaging through people's trash. <laughs> hey, you know, you get to play this game the way that you want to play it. Cows! I love cows. I used to live in Texas and I used to yell at the cows. Aww. They'd always look at me and be like, hey cows, how's it going? That's not yelling, that's just being nice and talking to them. Yeah, well, I have to yell from the car because they're really far away. So I'm just like, cows! And then oh, they look. And I've actually never seen this before. She's yeah. taking pictures. Haley's too involved oh. with her camera to notice you. So, like, Aww. there's this one quirky girl in town, and she's always doing, like, weird stuff. And, like, I see her, like, playing a violin out in the field sometimes. And so it's neat, like, learning. Like, I'm not going to say that they're, like, incredibly well-written and deep, but they do all feel, like, really distinct from one another. Yeah, I mean, and they seem to all have, like, different really personalities, which is... Yeah, they definitely feel like they're, like, leading their own life. You know, like, it doesn't... They don't... They feel... And, like, the families feel like families. Like, they go do family things together. So it's kind of neat. I don't want to cut down too much of this grass because oh, we wow. need we need it to make hay later. Yeah, and that other other girl likes to come through here, so. Yeah, what the hay. heck? That was weird. <laughs> so let's plant these tulips. Oh, I'm so I'm like kind of trapped. There, let's chop down this little tree. Oh, baby tree. No, you're gonna have to get used to this. We need lots and lots and lots it's of. It's so wood. sad. Is it? Yeah, it's just trying to grow. It's just a little tree. What? <laughs> okay, look, I want to do these Let's Plays, Miranda, but this is part of how it's going to be. I know. I need to destroy in order to make new life. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. <laughs> okay. Your inventory's full, though, so you're just dropping. Yeah, under. I know. So we can craft. That's actually a reasonable. We need a little bit more wood. So let's chop down a couple more trees, and then what we'll do is we'll craft um, our very first thing. Yay. I know. Exciting. It's nice it just happens in your pockets, too. Just do it on the fly. Yeah, the crafting system is, like, nice and easy and smooth. It's like there's no... Like, anybody that's played any of these kind of games before won't have a problem with it. Yeah. Like, it just everything just gets picked up. So what do we need? We need 50 wood. I also the, like just, like, the animation for cutting the trees. Like, this, the leaves shake everywhere. And oh, just, yeah. Really the, nice. the game's full of all kinds of cute little details like that. Like, sometimes... Aww. She's so like, intense. She's, she's working so hard. <laughs> wow. Sometimes you'll, uh... What was I going to say? Oh, like, you'll, like, shake a tree and, like, a bunch of butterflies will fly off it. Aww. And, like, cute stuff like that happens a lot. It's great. 
So we made this chest. Oh, but now we need to, yeah, we, I definitely should have made that chest first because we're having inventory troubles. We'll just throw away that grass. So now we can place the chest. But this one steals your stuff. And then you just plop it down. You just plop the chest down. And now we can, like, drop, you know, and, stuff. and you can buy a backpack to unlock these two rows of inventory. We uh. just don't have it right now. <coughs> so let's, uh, let's plant these tulips. Yeah. See, we're already running low on energy, though, right? So it does go kind of oh, right. fast. That like, is fast. I didn't even notice. Yeah, I mean, cutting down trees really does it. Like. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm just walking around everywhere, too. Mm -hmm. like, rummaging through garbage. We did rummage through the garbage. <laughs> no, it takes a lot out of you, for sure. And then I think that's actually pretty good timing. Like, the day's going to end, and then it might be the end of our... So when you run out of energy, do you just fall on the ground, fall asleep? Um... No, you can't run anymore, so you have to, like, slowly walk back towards your house. Oh, so, like, having auto run isn't always the best thing. I don't think, th I don't, th I actually, that's good, I don't think running is using energy. It's, mm -hmm. like, all the chopping and planting okay. and watering, yeah, so like, doing things. like, all so those actions. Gotcha. Yeah, so I want to go before the store closes. It's, like, always a sprint. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I gotta get up to the builders before five, they close. Um, it's, it's weird because it also moves in increments of 10. Yeah. So it's like, man. Yeah, I know. It takes forever to use at the store. And, like, sometimes I get to the store and, like, forget. Or, like, I'll go to the... I want to buy a few more parsnips, I think. Just to have, so we have a little bit more money. Um, I don't know. Like, this game's interesting. Like, I'm not married in my game or anything yet. And we're not married here. And so, like, sometimes it's, like, late at night. It's, like, 10 p.m. And I'm chopping down trees on my farm. <laughs> and it's just, like... It's just a weird life. Oh, single life. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey. Ooh, I like him. He looks kind of hipster. Nice. Yeah. I perform regular checkups. Oh, that's a nice sentiment. Oh, so kind. I know. Everyone here. But it's like, even the people that aren't nice are like still kind of funny. Like, there's one, like, town drunk. And, mm -hmm. like, her routine is, like, she doesn't usually wake up till like, 10.30 or 11. <laughs> and, like, I went into her house, and she was like, oh, my head. <laughs> and, like, she's always at the tavern late at night. Are there any, like, evil people? Like, just sneaky? There's a wizard. Oh! A wizard, you say? Yeah, and spoilers, if you become friends with the wizard, um, then you can change. Like, friendship levels come with, like, different perks. Mm -hmm. And one of his perks is uh, you can go back into, like, the character creator and, like, change. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> change your appearance. So that's, like, a clever little... I just thought that was cute. Nice. So we'll plant these parsnips, and I guess I don't have a fishing pole yet. I didn't remember that it's not unlocked from the start. So then that might that might be a day. And that might be the end. This first of our 100-part series. Yeah, we're going to get married. <laughs> we're going to get a cat. We're That's gonna right. Toby Fox. That's right. We're going to get a cat, and we're going to name it Toby Fox. <laughs> and then we're going to find a husband or a wife. And then, um, actually, don't know. You have lots of male and female options, but I don't know if there's rules. Like, I don't mm -hmm. know if there's like mm -hmm. if the women are willing to marry other women. So right. I haven't I haven't gotten that far in the game to figure that out yet. We'll have to figure that out. Yeah. So you don't have to do this, but I usually like to burn down like all my energy. I just don't like to waste energy. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I mean, if you only have so much a day, then you might as well use it before the day's up. Yeah. So it gives you a little warning. Oh man. You definitely don't want it to run down all the way because then you start the next day with a penalty. Oh. But we can chop down a, or cut down a few more. Locks. Maybe just, get down to nine. I know, just like one or two stressful. more. Stressful. I know. And so you can see like the sun setting, like it's starting to get dark outside as it gets to be like 7 p.m. So nice. it's a peaceful little game, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's very quiet too. So you can kind of just ha be with your thoughts and kind of figure out your own character. It's like, what does my character think or how do they act? Mm -hmm. And the last thing you have to do every day is you have to check the TV because you can see the weather for the next day. And there's this program called Living <laughs> Off the Land that gives you a little advice. Aww. Uh, chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while you while waiting on your first harvest. So that's actually a good point. We could have sold, like, we can sell some of this fiber and stone and coal to make a little money. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're going to use it for stuff later. Yeah, so, so just um, keep it for yourself. You don't need to buy everything. Just yeah. use what you got. So, uh, yeah, we are, um, well, you haven't played it yet. I'm kind of obsessed with this game, and uh, a lot of people on the internet are obsessed with this game, so I we wanted to show it off to I'm, everyone I'm at home. I'm going to be, very quickly. So, I don't know, we'll see in the next Let's Play. Let's see if we can get a fishing pole, let's meet some more villagers, and maybe we'll actually do a little fighting. Ooh. Cool. See you guys later. Bye.